happy Saturday. I hope you all enjoyed the uh, Q&A yesterday. Um, and now it's Saturday and I'm just kind of strolling along. It looks like it's going to be a beautiful day out. Um, I got Totoro here. Oh, funny story. Yesterday in clinic, one of my um, patient's moms uh, was sitting in the, the room and she had a Totoro purse. And I was trying to not stare at it and be distracted, but it was so cute. I was like, <laughs> I didn't want to, you know, interrupt and be like, um, excuse me, where did you get your bag? But it was so adorable. I'm just loving my mug. And um, I didn't really realize this little character was so popular. But this morning I fired up um, an alternative dust. I know I'm going to get lots of um, tongue and cheek questions on to my, as to my selection this morning um, of the um, sex dust. Uh, basically I have that sampler packet and I'm trying to taste the dust that came in it and this happened to be next in line so I thought why not it's Saturday morning let's give it a whirl it's got a proprietary blend of course of Hoshu Wu, um, Cacao, Shalahit, Maca, Shistanch, Desert Cola, Shizandra, Horny Goat Weed maybe that's where it gets its name the goat weed <laughs> and stevia so tastes pretty good actually i kind of like it um just the taste of it tomorrow is mother's day so um we are planning to my mom wants to go to the beach tomorrow um so i'm gonna pack a little picnic so i have some recipes in mind that i think i'm gonna make today and uh hopefully i'll show you guys how i do those um and yeah that is what's going on deli stuff in there So tomorrow I'm planning like a little picnic brunch for my mom because um, she wanted to go to the beach. And I'm gonna try out a new recipe and I'm gonna make it now in case it doesn't come out. I can at least taste test it and you know bail on that one. Um, but um, I've never made it before. But um, I'm gonna be using this um, gluten-free garbanzo flour that I got in my Vitacost haul. And I'm gonna be making vegan mini quiches, eggless mini quiches using that and the rice cauliflower. This is a recipe which I'll link down below for you guys. Um, I found on a blog. Um, I'll just show you the picture now. Yeah, so I found it on this blog, including cake. Um, I just kind of like through Pinterest. Um, this was published, I guess, on in, back in 2014. It's chick chickpea cauliflower quiche and I mean looking at the picture it really does look like quiche and this is the muffin tin that I'm going to be using it's um, a good old wheel ton I got it on the Amazonian a while back if you'll recall uh, for mini muffins so I think that'll be cute for a little mini quiches because who doesn't love mini quiches it's got, it's got a lot more Guys, I have to say, I'm kind of, I'm really impressed with the way the uh, batter at least looks. I don't know how it's going to taste when it bakes up, but right quick, the sort of rundown on the ingredients. I mean, I'll link the recipe down below, but it was basically a cup of the garbanzo flour, <clears throat> half a teaspoon of baking powder, half a teaspoon of baking soda, um, a tablespoon of flaxseed, um, a cup of uh, riced cauliflower. I use mine uh, from Costco, but you can buy regular cauliflower and rice it yourself um, and then um, a cup of water and then uh, an entire zucchini and an entire onion and one thing that I added is um, three tablespoons of nutritional yeast. You guys are asking me a lot about nutritional yeast. If you're not familiar with it, no, it's not the same as baker's, no, it's not the same as the yeast that you add to bread for rising, nor is it the same as um, brewer's yeast. Um, this is essentially um, inactivated yeast, but essentially what it is is a, a source of B vitamins which in vegan diets, vitamin B12 is kind of one of the thing, things everyone worries about becoming deficient in. Um, it's important for the health of our peripheral nervous system particularly. Um, and uh, this is a great source of it. You can see here it's got 40% of your daily recommended amount. And this, guys, tastes like, um, kind of imparts a cheesy flavor to things. And it, um, you know, I sprinkle it on veggies, on salads, um, but if you mix it in 
into like say mashed potatoes or your rice cauliflower, it gives it that cheesy taste. It also tastes great on like popcorn in lieu of, you know, the um, popcorn seasonings um, and Parmesan cheese. I just love this stuff and you don't have to be vegan or vegetarian to love it either. Um, but so I added three tablespoons of it to the dry ingredients and then um, this is what the batter looks like. I mean, it kind of looks eggy, right? I don't know. So I've got my oven preheated to 350 for the instructions. I'm just gonna <clears throat> spray my pan. I'm just gonna spray this here with a little bit of the uh, nonstick cooking spray. And then I'm gonna bake it in the oven per the directions for 30 minutes. So I'll let you guys know how it comes out. All right, so you can see they've been in the oven for approximately 10 minutes now. And look how cute, they're puffing up like little uh, eggy muffins. So I bet they're gonna be good. But, um, so I had um, about roughly, I wanna say half a cup to a cup of batter left over. So I just decided to make myself a little pancake with it here to kind of um, use it up. And I'm gonna flip it now, um, but you can see it, it looks like a little pancake. And look how well that holds up, guys. Did you see that? Oh, I'm impressed. I can't wait to try it. Well, there we go, guys. This looks delicious. I'm kind of kicking myself for not making more because uh, this is just a little snack, but it smells great. Um, I'm kind of stoked for this. It's almost like a little omelet, so awesome. FYI, uh, it appears that this recipe can also be used as a pancake if you don't want to uh, make muffins. You could do sweet versions of this with blueberries and um, you know, just add sweetener or applesauce. I think the sky's really the limits here. Oh, and I just, okay, so I just sliced it and that's what it looks like on the inside. It, don't, it looks like an omelet, guys. It totally looks like a little frittata and it's completely eggless. I am so jazzed about this. I'm like jumping up and down in circles. <laughs> All right, so my um, little mini quiches are still baking, and while they're baking, I'm gonna go ahead and get started on preparing some of the ingredients for the second recipe that I'm gonna make, which I'll also link down below. Um, it's for some uh, apple cinnamon um, oat, oat bars um, with walnuts. Um, my mom loves nuts and loves like oatmeal cookies and sweet things, so um, this recipe calls for um, some, uh, like a half a cup of grated carrots, so I'm just gonna grate up some carrots now and set those aside, and then it also calls for a third of a cup of, of walnuts. Okay, so shout out, so money savings wise, guys. All right, so I first went over to the baking section to peruse the uh, nuts and I was like, you know, they sell those little packets in the baking section of, they sell packets of nuts in the baking section. Stay away from those because they are so significantly upcharged, it is insane, okay? Um, for like half a cup of walnuts in that section is something like $4.99, okay? And I need a third of a cup. I don't, of all of the nuts, walnuts and, and macadamia nuts and Brazil nuts, I don't like eating. I'm fine with them in baked goods, but I don't like eating them raw. I just, um, uh, it, makes my, it makes my tongue itchy for some reason to eat those nuts. Otherwise, um, so I rarely ever buy them. And so I didn't wanna commit to a whole big bag of them. So I went over to the bulk bin and the same, uh, and I got, um, so I went over to the bulk bin and I was able to get roughly a third of a cup, which is what I need for this recipe for 45 cents. So don't waste your time in that uh, Fisher, don't ever waste your time and money on those Fisher, uh, uh, a little nut packets. They are a huge ripoff. Yeah, so this is, these are the bars I'm going to be making. They're from this um, blog, hum Hummus Sapiens. Oh, how cute. And the other ingredient that it calls for is a, um, this thing, this also calls for um, some mashed bananas. So the other thing I'm going to do is I've got bananas in the freezer that I'm just going to thaw out now. Uh, so that I can add them into this recipe. I think I might also add, I've got a uh, baked sweet potato in the um, in the fridge. I might just use that instead of bananas because I don't want this to be banana-y, apple-y, honestly. I kind of think sweet potato would be a better thing. I don't know. Well, I like it saying it out loud, but I don't know, like we've been together. The oat bars are called Morning Glory um, oat bars and they just came out of the oven and they look so good. I wish there was smell of vision. Um, they really smell good. Um, I'm just gonna let them cool here in the pan um, and then this evening I think I'll slice them up. 
I think it looks really good. So I'm just gonna let them cool there and um, I turned off my oven and I think I'm gonna, I have to run out to Costco to get uh, some produce for the week. So that is where I'm at. Well, hey guys, so I'm on my way out to uh, Costco. Update, um, so Audible update. I uh, finished a book recently called Human Acts by Han Kang. I think I'm saying that correctly that I really enjoyed um, and uh, it's a Korean author um, but I really enjoyed it and now I'm listening uh, to a man called Uva I've been saying it wrong all along and, and I'm enjoying that as well it's uh, uh, the uh, main character is uh, strikingly uh, similar to myself I, I can see uh, uh, some of myself in the main character <laughs> unfortunately um, and that is what's going on well, hey guys, I just got back from uh, Costco and I thought I'd show you my produce haul, I guess, for the week. So um, I got, of course, another bag of the um, spinach at Costco. Um, I picked up some celery and two more bags of the organic cauliflower rice. Now that I have discovered this garbanzo pancake, I am seeing that in my future. Um, at Kroger, I had a coupon for this unsweetened uh, almond milk, the Simple Truth Kroger brand, organic. I also got some bananas at Costco because I used the rest of them this morning. And I picked up at Kroger one of these little watermelons. Um, at Kroger, I also got yellow squash instead of zucchini because their zucchini was looking a little wimpy. Um, and so I got yellow squash, it was on sale. I got one yam, a pint of blueberries, which I've already gotten into, and some strawberries, and then the carrots that you saw me use this morning. I At Costco, I also picked up some more of my Sweet Mickey Organic Gala Apples. I really like these. Got um, some more of the low sodium rice cakes that I like. And then I had a coupon for some more of my um, Better in Oats little instant oatmeal packets that I use in the morning for convenience. And I really like this maple and brown sugar flavor. It's like my favorite one. Yeah, um, right now I am gonna chop up the, right now I'm gonna just uh, chop up the morning glory bars. They are all cool here. And my little mini quiches are completely cool and look how cute they are. I can just totally see these becoming like a staple in my diet. I'm really pleased with how they came out, so. Well, hey guys, um, sorry we got cut off abruptly there. Apparently, um, one of the restaurants that's attached to my building had a transformer outage. Uh, long story short, that triggered the fire alarm in the entire building. And I mean, when I say fire alarm, rest assured, should there ever be a fire in this apartment, um, we're not missing any, we, we will not miss a beat. I mean, that was by far and away the loudest fire alarm I have ever heard. And it went on for a solid hour. Um, and we all had to go outside and, you know, just like in school. Um, so yeah, that's kind of why we got short change there. But I just got back from the gym and, um, you know, it's obviously Mother's Day weekend. Um, you all are watching this after the fact. But, um, you know, you, you all probably uh, have come to realize that I, I get a real kick out of uh, out of chitty, chitty chatting about chit chatting about some of these silly uh, marketing terms on uh, skincare products. And one of the things that stood out to me today, um, you know, it's terrifying being a new parent. I can only imagine, just as an observer of parents. Um, and the thought that, you know, anything you could do could potentially harm your child. And I've really noticed that a lot of these high-end skincare companies um, and cosmeceutical companies are kind of with these claims of like completely safe for pregnancy, pregnancy safe serums and blah, 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 blah. And I kind of have to chuckle to myself because it's sort of like, okay, well, where is the data for this exactly? And you know, if you're selling an anti-aging serum, which first of all, if you're new here, anti-aging is a complete marketing term. You, there's no special skincare for people over a certain age. I mean, it's just ridiculous to reverse you back to, to prior years. I mean, that, like you've got to stop believing this nonsense but you know the fact that they are trying to sell serums and, and peptides that are pregnancy safe I'm scratching my head going first and foremost where is the data for this we don't really have a whole lot of data that anything is necessarily dangerous that's applied to the skin but nobody wants to go figuring that out okay we, nobody wants to hurt a baby so you know we're really really conservative and basically recommending like 
really, really conservative thing. So, you know, for a skincare company to be selling you some sort of botanical serum mambo combo that's supposedly safe, you've either got to scratch your head saying they're lying to you straight on and have made something up that, it, that just doesn't exist for a cosmeceutical or Sephora skincare line to be touting themselves as all natural and safe pregnancy, you know, not containing any ingredients that are dangerous in pregnancy. Okay, well, that's fair, but if if everything's so safe, then what the heck is it doing? And why do you need to spend $500 on this fake bottle of nothing when it's probably just another moisturizer that you could have gotten for a dollar. Um, with that guys, I hope you all had a wonderful Mother's Day. I'm certainly grateful for my mother. I look forward to spending tomorrow uh, with her and uh, taking you guys along and uh, having some delicious uh, treats that hopefully taste alright that hopefully she likes. And uh, yeah, I'm going to conclude the vlog here. I hope you enjoyed it. Give this video a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and as always, don't forget, sunscreen and subscribe. I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. Bye!